My name is Tara James and I am the owner of Hello Baby, an infant and children's boutique in downtown Plainview, Texas. We've been open for two and a half years and in August we will celebrate our third birthday. I started my business just based on a dream, a dream of being a small business owner and providing a service and products for people that have infant and children. What a better market to be in when everybody has babies. <laughs> so we just celebrate the growth of families and kids throughout their youth and adolescence. I would say customers and relationships. It is about being profitable and continuing to operate in business, but really the biggest thing about being a small business owner is your customer. So when you build those relationships and you have repeat customers and you see their children grow or their grandchildren grow, it's rewarding to know that you've been a part of their life. I would say my secret to success is customer service. It's important to always go just a little bit above and beyond so that your customer knows that you care about them and that their money was well spent. So whether it's they're gonna wrap a gift with a little extra something they have at home, so you go ahead and make a bow and send tissue paper. Or they're mailing a gift overseas or to a family member across the nation, you put the poly mailer bag in their bag so that they can quickly mail it to the person that's receiving the gift. So to me, it's just knowing I want to be treated as I am the most important customer, so I treat all of my customers as they are the most important customer. When you go out and think about starting a business, make sure that your plan is complete. I will say that I did not do that, and I've had to learn on the fly. But there is no handbook, there is no manual. So make sure you've asked all the questions, you've contacted any of your state agencies, CPA, other friends that may be small business owners. Don't ask them how they operate their business, but maybe just how to get started. Make sure that your branding is good. Make sure that you, and it's timeless, make sure that you have set up all of your social media outlets, which is so big in today's world but you can't ever overlook the smallest detail, so don't second guess yourself. And sometimes failure means success. You might have a little setback and you may even make mistakes, but if you learn from those mistakes and you correct them and you grow from them, you're bound to be successful. So I think my biggest resource as a small business, this may sound cliche, but would be my banker that gave me the opportunity to be able to start the business. Um, and then I would also say support from friends and family. So those might be minor things to somebody else, but to me it made a big impact and is the only way that I would have been able to start my business. What a better place than to be surrounded by Texans! <laughs> Not only do we say y'all, but we love each other so much. I cannot tell you, we there have been opportunities and situations in Texas where every citizen has really banded together and supported one another. And I think that most of our community members in rural America just emulate and show their support for those around them and pat each other on the back and really encourage them and make sure that they support people that support their community. And Texas is the bigger, better place. So here we are.